Welcome to First Man Satellite. This is Master Original Combo. You see, this decoder is not powering on. When you put in the cable, the power adapter, when you put in the power adapter, no power as you can see so uh, today I want to teach you how to deal with the power problem of master decoder or any uh, red line decoder uh, decoder any decoder of each kind with with same problem like this you see I've opened the box and you can see the inside. This is how the inside looks like. You see? So let's start the troubleshooting to know where, where the problem is. So with my multimeter, uh, I start to check with my multimeter. Turn it on for me. Turn it on. Switch it on. Yeah. Switch. Good. So with my multimeter like this, uh, then I'll start the troubleshooting to know where the problem is. So I have to start with the power side. You see, here is the power side. Here is the power side. So, and this is power IC, 12 volts IC. So I believe uh, this is having a problem, but I don't have to guess. Uh, I have to be sure that this is the problem. So, and this is a ceramic capacitor, which is also uh, 12 volts uh, ceramic capacitor. So I have to check at uh, this. You see, this, this side is grounded, and the other side is grounded, so it's bad. So, uh, though uh, I believe the power I see is having a problem, but so far as this one too is grounded, I have to remove it first and see that uh, there's no uh, ground in the both sides. Uh, if if it tells me no ground, one ground for one side and the, and the other side uh, not ground, then uh, maybe the capacitor is also damaged. But if I remove it and still test it, and the both side, both the places, both two places are grounded, then uh, it means uh, it's not the capacitor is healthy, but the IC is the problem. So I'm coming to do exactly that. So look at it. You see, uh, here, this one is the uh, positive one, and uh, this one, the ground. But look at it. You see, yeah. This one still makes sound. It's ground. This one too is ground. So I'm coming to remove it and see what happens. And to deal with this IC, or to remove uh, this IC, you need a machine like this. This is a CADA 852. You need any machine of uh, this kind uh, that you can use to remove ICs. You see, so I'm coming to do exactly that. <clears throat> Yeah, so I've started the operation. I'm removing it. As you can see, if you look at it, yes, I've removed the ceramic capacitor one side from each position so that I can get, so that it will not be contacted. So look at it. I'm checking to see whether still be grounded. You see here, still grounded and here to still grounded. So it means this IC 
is damaged so i have to change this ic and see whether the problem will solve welcome to first man satellite please you can subscribe to my channel welcome maybe you ask me uh, uh, where can i get this ic to replace my decoder it is available in the market you see yeah this is how it looks like you see uh, if you go to market you see like this in a package like this you see look at it yes you get it in the market so uh, you can replace it you get it there and also if you don't have it and you have uh, another decoder like this you see this is also a master decoder like this it also uses the same IC you can see it inside you can remove it and replace it with it if it is working so I'm coming to do it exactly that for you to see it uh, yeah you can see this is a working one this this is a working decoder as you can see you so I can remove this decoder's IC and replace it uh, for this one and, and to work so I'm come to remove this one and, and, and replace it with another IC and see how it will work welcome to first man satellite you see I have removed the IC if you can see look at it you see this is it place if you can see this is it place you see I have removed it so let's see let's check and see whether it will be st it will still be grounded or not let's check and see you see this is the capacitor one place let's see you see no more ground you see let me check the other side you see one side grounded other side not so it means the problem was uh, the IC it was the IC causing the problem so right now I'm coming to replace it uh, with a, a, a different another IC with the same kind the same type IC come to replace it with that and see what will happen welcome to first man satellite so as you can see now i have changed the ic you can see here is it yes i have replaced it you can see here is the new ic i have replaced this is the old one you see so let's see let's see whether it will come to power it on you see i have put the cable power cable there already and let's see i'm i'm i'm, I'm putting it in power Let's see, I've put it in power. Let's see whether it will be on or not. Let's see. You see? Yes. So this is how to solve a power problem of a, a master decoder or red line decoder. Any compressed decoder in this form. Now this, this is how to solve it. So now, no problem. So let, let's check. Let's check the one point. You see? Yes. This one. It's correct. Let's check the three volts. I, uh, uh, you see, yes, everything is correct. So, welcome to First Man Satellite. This is how to troubleshoot a power problem of a red line decoder or master decoder or any uh, modern compressed uh, decoder in a form like this. Thank you and welcome to First Man Satellite. Please subscribe and share to get more information. Thank you. Bye.